And you have a Rolex on your wrist. Yeah, I do. Uh, okay, this is white gold <laughs> Rolex. And at the moment, how much money you have in your bank account? Well, I really cannot count. You <laughs> cannot count because it's a big number? Yeah, it's a big number, so okay. it's not possible to know. <laughs> Can you give us a range? Is it like a seven figures? Well, yes. Around 30,000 yeah. per month you are spending. How much money can we make in your position? It's about uh, six or seven thousand per month. How you are saving your money? I think about invest in real estate. Can you tell us like how much you have in your bank account right now? Oh, that's a tough one because that varies. Because I have my own business, the money comes in and out all the time. But it ranges. Well, nice. 16 year old already have in her bank account. Business lady, please shout out something. Inspire people if they want to start their own business. I say spend all your money <laughs> and just live life to the fullest because you only live once. How much you have saving? <laughs> Can you guess? Oh, 20,000 you have right now. How do you invest your money? In crypto. So you are a salesperson. Um, no, I'm a client representative. I take my clients out and look after them, basically. Let's Take check away. your bank account. How much saving you have? I'm broke. <laughs> I'm broke. Show me a couple of cents. <laughs>Yo guys, today is something interesting, a little bit different. I'm going to ask people how much money they have in their bank accounts. I know it can be a little bit taboo. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Comment below what you want to see in the next video. Let's go to interview them. Your name, age, and where are you from? Hi, I'm Vasilisa, I'm 24 years old, and I'm from Ukraine. What do you do for a living? So I'm the executive assistant to the CEO in a financial company. In your early 20s, you already found a good position, yeah? Yeah, I have quite a great experience with everything. Mm -hmm. I've started working when I was 17. That was a long and bumpy road, but now we're here. And being in your position, how much can we make per year? That's a sensitive question. It is. Enough for me to support all of my needs, have coffee, live in beautiful island of Malta, and be comfortable with it. Okay, I will guess your range yeah. after asking a couple of questions. Okay. You said that having my coffee, where you are regularly taking your coffees? Everywhere I want. <laughs> okay, she has more than 40,000 per year. Yes. That's what I got. Okay, between 40 and 50, say or yeah. 40 and 60 40 55 being in financial industry how do you invest your money in crypto wow in crypto and which coins not the m <laughs> Which coins? So basically more of the Tether and USDT. I just save some money. Mm -hmm. I just do some occasional investments, but it's mostly for keeping it, safely storing it, and then accessing it when I have a need to access them. We are checking people's bank accounts, how much they have in their saving. Are you brave for showing us? No, not really. Okay. In what range you are for the saving? Well, it depends to which account because not all of the crypto accounts you can access from your phone with without the right. locker, so... But you know, mm? you know yourself how much you have saving, what range you are, yes. which uh, five figures you are. <laughs> Can you guess? Uh, 15,000. 5,000 on top of that, and you'll be there. Oh, 20,000 you have right yeah. now. Okay, yeah. she has 23,000 at the moment in a saving. 20. But how you are splurging your money or you are just saving and investing? I'm just saving it for a moment because, well, this money helped me a lot because all of the situation in Ukraine and I had to quit my job there, I had to move and get the apartment here and it all requires deposit and help my family. So for now, I'm on the safe side of keeping it, staying still and just looking at it. Good. And you are 24 years old. Already you have 20 grand in your bank account. Yeah. But what is your biggest splurge? I don't spend like unconsciously, just the clothing, mm -hmm. makeup, everything that I find beautiful. But the biggest expense obviously is renting in Malta. For people in in their early age they want to start in the financial industry what advice yeah. you would give to them before finance I used to work in the casino so finance is quite like gambling in a lot of ways because people come to this industry without a clear or understanding of what they need to do how to invest and they just hope for the best they go with the flow they go with the bonds for example which are more popular at the moment 
they look at different like online channels and get their advice from random sources and people. But do your own research. Be cautious about that and don't just splurge your money even though you think it's investment. You can lose your money as if you would gamble it away. That's it. Good advice and thank you very much. But how did you learn with the investing of this kind of mindset for financial freedom journey? You are already in it. Well, I was just lucky to work with a lot of great people in the industry. So as you work with them, you learn from them. You have conversations with them you understand how they acquired their wealth and you don't make the same mistakes that they've made along the way when they started best piece of financial advice you ever received in your life <laughs> don't splurge yes. so thank you very much your name age and where are you from my name is katarina i'm from serbia and my age is 26 years old <laughs> what do you do for a living i'm a stay at home wife <laughs> and mom <laughs> Nice job, full-time job, I would say. Yeah, definitely full-time job. <laughs> Being in your position as a housewife, how much can we make per year? Uh, well, definitely a lot. My husband plays football, so... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. He's a millionaire. Yeah, definitely. Is it, is it how good at you with the saving? Not very good. But how you are spending your husband's money? On shopping and on kids. And you have a Rolex on your wrist. Yeah, I uh, do. Okay, this is white gold <laughs> Rolex. And <laughs> how much is this going right now? 25 grand? Yeah, around that. 25, 26. Why did you decide for buying it? I love jewelry, so mm -hmm. my husband also really likes watches, so he decided mm -hmm. for me to have one as well. And at the moment, how much money you have in your bank account? Well, I really cannot count. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot count because it's a big number? Yeah, it's a big number, so uh, it's not possible to know. <laughs> can you give us a range? Is it like a seven figures? Well, yes. Possibly, yes. Seven figures in the <laughs> bank account. Yes. Amazing. So people in the early age, a lot of young girls, mm -hmm. they want to be housewife like you, but yeah. not like a broke husband's housewife, but like <laughs> you. What advice you would give to them? To find a rich husband or how? Well, no, it's to find a good husband, to get married young, to mm -hmm. see potential and then to get rich together. That's that's the point. Oh, okay. And <laughs> yeah. you were supportive for making him rich? Yeah, because it's for us. That's why I said it's a good husband. And, you know, it depends. You need to have, you know, the same type of, you know, mentality and like mm -hmm. what you want from each other in future, you know, mm -hmm. like my husband is like all in, you know, like together and everything, you know, so it's it's a good husband first <laughs> to treat you well. <laughs> okay. And what is your biggest splurge? Uh, well, as of right now, definitely my Rolex. Monthly, what is your biggest ah, splurge? Okay, monthly, mm -hmm. well, definitely around maybe 30,000 or so. Around like, 30,000 yeah. per month you are spending. <laughs> yeah, well, I like shopping and I I like traveling so it's both <laughs> so what do you think about the people if they don't want to be in the process of their partner to be a millionaire or to be successful but they want to find end result it's it's tricky it's tricky depends how they will treat you at that mm -hmm. point depends what their mindset is already but when you kind of uh, you know grow together it's a little bit different i i feel mm -hmm. like yeah what's your name age and where are you from i'm sophie 29 and norwich in the uk i'm ebony i'm 20 Five, and I'm from Norwich. What do you do for a living? I'm an aesthetics practitioner. Wow, this is the first <laughs> time in my channel we never had. How did you decide for starting that career? Um, I started with doing beauty treatments. Mm -hmm. I just quite fancied it, so I thought I'd give it a go. <laughs> and you saw that there is a good money also? It is good money, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That attracted you? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> There is some effects, side effects a little bit. How about you? What do you do for a living? I'm an insurance broker. But how long are you doing it? Yeah, five years, nearly six. Mm -hmm. Being in your position, how much can we make per year? You can make up to 100 grand. You can make even more. You are in six-figure range. I'm not there quite. I think half of that, but yeah. You are more than six years in the industry and you're not making six it's figures. It's because if you move to London, I'm a country girl. How you are saving your money or how you are spending? I'm good at saving, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like stocks and shares, yeah. But is it investing, not saving? Yeah, investing. So which one you do? Oh, well, a bit of both. I've got many mm -hmm. saving pots. Yeah, you've got to be sensible in this day and age. How about you? Are you good at with saving, investing or spending? I like to spend, but I do invest and I do save. Where you are investing your money? Where my partner tells me to. <laughs> Financial advisor. Yeah. Do you have any side business or you do only with this full-time job? Oh, that's just my full-time job. At the moment, how much money you have in your bank account? <laughs> Show us. I don't know. <laughs> Tell me. 
Uh, give us a range. Spending yeah, account. So, so you are spending all? Yeah, so this is just money, free money. Free money? <laughs> free money. What do you mean? This is money that's not in the saving pots ready to spend. So you, you are diversifying it for them. This is for saving, this is yeah, for investing, it, when spending. When I get paid, I put some mm -hmm. in savings pots, then I have savings, mm -hmm. and then I have my spending pot. In what range you are at the moment for saving? Probably about 12. 12 grand you have? Yes. Uh, do you know what premium bonds are? Premium bonds? Yeah. I'm, I'm not investing in that. I love premium bonds. Yeah, I've got loads mm -hmm. of premium bonds <laughs> okay but you have to give also a range like from a pound to a million yeah. you don't know <laughs> yeah. a million pounds you have no I don't have that much what is your biggest splurge well I'm getting married next year so that's gonna be the big splurge next year it is like you will pay half we'll go halves yeah the average how much you are spending for a wedding in London it's like 30 35 <laughs> and you what's your biggest splurge um, probably my house recently you bought a house I bought a house House, yeah. 29 and 29. you already bought your house. Yes. Well done and we appreciate people like you. Oh, thank yeah, you. Because you know how to invest, how to save. Yeah, but you hard are, work but worth it. But yeah. you are lying to us that, um, I don't know, I'm yeah. spending all my money like That's this. It. No, I've got a house, so yeah. For people in early career stage, they want to start in somewhere. They are lost maybe, they want yeah. to start from somewhere else. But if they want to start in your industry, like uh, the insurance brokerage, yeah. what advice you would give to them? I think just the more experience the better yeah I think be open to anything trial new things at work be open for promotions even if you don't like it just give it a try because it always leads to new opportunity and new mm -hmm. opportunity leads to money more money so you are a salesperson um no I'm a client representative I take my clients out and look after them basically okay. I spend their money yeah <laughs> You are partying all day. Uh, is that basically. Uh, with your clients? Yes, basically I spend their money for them. You spend your own money for clients, but it has to be opposite. They have to spend the money to you. Yeah, of course. They bring us the business, mm -hmm. we look after it for them, and then they take us out. Then you screw them up. Yeah, basically. <laughs> your advice for people who want to start beauty industry, what advice you would give to them? I think you really do have to just go for it. There is a lot of competition, but I think if that's what you really want to do, put your all into it, and I think mm -hmm. you'll make it work. All right. There are also sharks in your industry, I believe so. So how you are competing with them or how you are managing to be also in the same tank? I think you just have to do what you want to do and just be nice to your clients and not be bitchy. You are bitchy? No. But, and you said that how long you are in the industry? I've been mm, probably six years this year. Mm -hmm. You are big on social media, you can shout out for our channel also. You are posting any content about your job? I do, I do. So we appreciate your time, your answer and that's very good. Your name, age and where are you from? My name is Lisa. I'm from Russia. And how old are you? 36. What do you do for work? I'm chief marketing officer. How long you are in that industry? I think it's about mm -hmm. 10 years. How much money can we make in your position? I think it's NDA. <laughs> okay, it's about uh, six or seven thousand per month. How you are saving your money? I now I think about invest in real estate, but not not in Malta. <laughs> in, in Russia? Yes, yes. My previous money I invest in real estate in Russia, yeah. Mm -hmm. At the moment, how many properties you have? I think it's, <laughs> it's confidence. <laughs> uh, no. it's I, confidence, yeah. Be confident, I, I, talk I, about it. Oh, I think it's confidence, yes. Yeah. Some property I have uh, in Russia. We agree that she has three properties in Russia and she's also thinking to invest more in property, yes? Okay, yeah. Okay. And how much money you have in your bank account right now? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. Yes. Six figures? <laughs> no comment, no comment. I think it's confidence, yes. Okay, but you want to give us a range. Uh, now it's my account, okay. um, not a um, big. How you are spending your money? Every month it's about food, mm -hmm. yes, it's about uh, yoga class, <laughs> uh, it's about my daughter's school, my daughter's education. I think it's something uh, regular, yes. Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? My name's Charles. I am Australian and I'm 51. Hi, I'm Kay. I'm 51 and I'm from Australia as well. What do you do for a living? I have a business. I do floor coverings in Australia. So um, I do a variety of things, vinyl, carpet, polished concrete, everything but tiles. 
and I, I do commercial work and retail. I'm a part of our family business and I'm also a mindset coach and an energy healer and I work with women's wellness. That's amazing things going on. So how did you start your own business? Mine was by coincidence. I was working for a company and through that the opportunity came up to become a partner in that business and as time's gone on I have created my own business and my own brand and just continued the legacy. Did you come with money? from your parents or from your or maybe you inherited money or something? No. no money, self made? Self made. No money at all. I've started from scratch and started very young, saving my money mm -hmm. and it's developed from there. You? Well we can't we have a package. We've been together now for how many years? Twenty. 24 years so we've built this together we're very proud of the life we've created together and I probably bring the mindset the positivity correct yes the let's go out and do it energy to our businesses we are asking about money related questions and can you give us a range how much money you have in your bank account right now oh that's a tough one because that varies because I have my own business mm -hmm. the money comes in and out all the time but it, it ranges depending on how the business is going and it can be anywhere from $50,000 to $100,000. You, you are talking about per month? No, no, no. I'm talking about it fluctuates between that range constantly. Mm -hmm. You can also give out because you have two businesses, we'll say? Yes. So our focus is has always been on growth and slow growth when it comes to money. So we always have the view for the long term. However, we do keep in mind that life is to be lived today and that's we combine and balance that together. From your opinion, what keeps people broke? Spending more than you earn. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. People ask me, what's the trick to it? There's no trick. I only spend what I have and um, I always make sure that I have a little bit left, always. So if I have $100, I'm only prepared to spend 50 or 60 of that. So I never spend the whole 100 and that's how I've got to where I am. Nice. And you are investing your money for the real estate also for property or how? Yeah. Yes, yeah, I've, I've started investing in property at 22. That's helped me get to where I am by investing in property. The property market in Australia is really strong. From your perspective, what keeps people broke? Whatever you believe you can create, whatever you want to do in your life, it's up to you. It doesn't matter what background you come from, where you start, and you just take step after step after step, mm -hmm. and you just keep going. You have to believe in yourself. Can you give us your social media? People can take advantage from your page. You can find me Kay Vlachos, which is V-L-A-C-H-O-S, Soul to Soul Wellness. So my website, soultosoulwellness.com.au. At the end, people want to start in your business. What advice you would give to them? I think the biggest bit of advice is to have a goal and go for it. Take that risk. If you really want to do it, you have to try it. And if it doesn't work, you can always go again. Good. I appreciate it. And you? I believe it's important to surround yourself with people who are doing what you want to do, people who are already ahead of you. And there's no problem with emulating what they're doing. Ask them all the questions that you need to do. I don't think anybody does anything on their own. It's always some sort of partnership, whether it's in a marriage with us or whether it's a partnership through business. It takes more than one to be a success. What's your name? Giselle. How old are you? 19. What do you do for a living? I work in hospitality. What's your education? Criminology and social work. How about you? What's your name and age? Bronte and I'm 16. <laughs> Annika and I'm 19. Okay, what do you do for a living? Hospitality as well. It's also the same? Yeah. You work in the same place? No. <laughs> How about you? Um, I do Airbnb cleaning and I have like my own little cleaning business. <laughs> you are a business lady and how much can we make in your position doing what you do? 800 a month for like two shifts a week. Well nice, and your position? Maybe 2k a month, but that's two jobs. So you work two full time or part time? Casual. How much money you have in your bank account right now? I wouldn't know off the top of my head. Check it. Check it? Check it, I yeah. don't have internet. Sure. Oh, come on. <laughs> but I don't believe it, they don't have internet. I'm, I'm opening your internet, don't worry. So how about you? Well, that I've saved myself, I'm saving for a car so I have like six seven grand Very good but how you are investing or saving your money I'm pretty good what are you laughing at <laughs> no I'm good at saving when I have something to save for so because I'm saving for a car I don't really want to spend my money the only thing I really spend it on is food and you said you are 16 yeah wow that's well done thank you that's good how did you learn for making money my parents well nice 16 year old already have seven grand in her bank account that's well done how about you business lady well I spent all my money on my Europe trip so <laughs> nothing <laughs> I'm broke your cleaning business doesn't do well I do I get a bit of work shout out your business name I don't have a business name <laughs>
You are lying us. So you don't have business, but you said that you have cleaning it's business. Like, yeah, I like, in Australia, you like subcontract to a... You're like a middle person and whoever needs the cleaning, you are finding the subcontractors and then you are giving service to them, yeah? Pretty much. Okay, but uh, how much you have in your bank account? Like, I don't know. It's like a couple of hundred? Probably like four grand right now. Mm -hmm. But that's all my spending money for Europe. After that, it'll be none. <laughs> You're going to spend all your money here in Malta? Maybe. How you are spending, how you are saving or investing your money? I just save. I have like three accounts. I put money to like a savings account, mm -hmm. a like spendings account and then a travel account. People in your age, what financial advice you would give to them? By the way, you didn't give us your range. <laughs> I would say live life, spend the money if you like, still save your money, it's like a little bit better than nothing. That's good advice. And your advice for people? Don't waste all your money, you only have one chance, like life's, everything comes and goes, so spend it while you can, but also have some saved, don't waste it on stupid things. What you want to do in the future with your career or you have anything in your mind to start your own business? I want to have my own business, not sure yet. Good luck. Business lady, please shout out something on our channel and inspire people people if they want to start their own business. I say spend all your money <laughs> and just live life to the fullest because you only live once. Be like you. Yep. Spend all your money, save and make money, save money and then yep. spend and then for your spend. trip. And then make more money and then spend it again. I appreciate your answer. What's your name? And Nicholas Jackman. What do you do for a living? I'm an actor. How long you are acting? This is my third summer as a full-time actor. Started here in Malta about 10 years ago. And how old are you? 42 years old. Is it a profitable career? It is not. Never be intended to be. But it's a, it's a living and it's a, it's a fun living, right? Can you tell us like how much you have in your bank account right now? Today is a good day. I arrived at the bank machine yesterday and there was some money in it, 130 euros. How you are surviving with your salary or with your paid promotion, this kind of things? It helps that I don't have a rent to pay. I bought a ship and I live on the ship in the sea and it uh, it keeps it out and then I can everything else is, is food and work over the basics and you can live to fight another day in, in the creative sphere here. Beside your this full-time job, do you have anything side, side hustle or some extra business? No, uh, I used to be, I used to do many, many things. Things. But uh, the last three years, just to focus on, on this one thing, try to be really good at it, try to get every little gig you can, keep the face out. And um, yeah, money money is different in this industry. It feels different when a, when a payment hits your bank account, whether it's 60 euro. Or I, got, I got a 25 euro tip on MC for an event, a comedy event two weeks ago and it hit me the same in a good way as getting a thousand euro a month raise hit me in the past for people in, in their 20s or early career stage they want to be in the film and industry what advice you would give to them you need to co uh, cut your costs your outgoings to the minimum I mean as the price of everything doubles the only way to compete is to is to cut your consumption mm -hmm. uh, you need to make sure that every every five euro 99 like I get all the YouTube ads I would love to have the money to pay for YouTube so I don't have to listen to the ads every time that I utilize it I, I don't so I have to put up with that but if you go back to your 20s what advice you would give to yourself or doing something differently not to focus so much I, I followed my early career I got to six figures and the mm -hmm. one percent everyone out there there's a ten percent chance that you're going to make it to the one percent over at least one one year of your lifetime mm -hmm. right everyone's got that ten percent chance I shot but you know what I, I don't want to say it's not worth it, it's, it, worth it. it. it's not worth it there's a lot of pie in the sky dreams and hopes of mm -hmm. well one day I'll be rich keep it going yeah uh, the meek will inherit the earth. The fact is that big dream, when you get there, it's not worth it. Your, your life just, your life expands to consume the money. But how do you feel going down from six figure to 130 bucks in your bank account? Yeah, it's been the happiest time of my life. Wow. That's a different feeling, yeah. You are happier than before right now. Happier, yeah. Fitter, healthier. Mm -hmm. I know for me, I have a lot of it. I can be a very addictive person. If I got money for food, I'll eat, you know. Okay. At the moment, I've been uh, I've been working hard to create a one-man show called Vincent, Vincent Van Gogh. And Van Gogh was skinny. Van Gogh lived through hardship. Art is, that's where the, a lot of the art is made and a lot of the big stories. The success stories of all the actors out there. When you look, there's a common thread. That's poverty, hungry years. Maybe you'll make it, maybe you won't, but the, the journey here now is the, is the wind and having 100 quid in the Account is a fucking dream, sorry. Your name, age, where are you from? My name is Ella and my age is 23 and I'm from South Korea. My name is Yerin, 21 years old from South Korea. Lee Young Ju. What do you do for work? A student. You, you work? Yes, I'm a civil servant of Korea 
and now I use study abroad leave. Wow, civil servant from South Korea. Yes. It wow, is. that's exotic job. I would say. <laughs> I worked in Poland, and my contract has been over. How much money you make per year? Uh, I have to uh, exchange. Uh, check, check. Yeah, let's check your bank accounts. How much saving you have? We are curious to know. We are checking all people's I'm bank accounts. I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> Show me a couple of cents. <laughs> Eleven thousand euro yes, you have in my bank account, and this is my my savings for uh, one year travel. Yeah, how you call yourself? You are a broke. <laughs> I think it's uh, it's not enough to travel for Europe. You are a student. How you make money? In Korea, I work in part time. Right now, how much you have? Okay, nine thousand you have. You. At the last, show us how much you have. Just twenty thousand. Well, enjoy your time. Thank you very much for your answers. Good luck on your career. That's it, basically. I'm definitely sure you enjoyed with this episode too. Comment below which interview you liked most. Also, don't forget hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.